Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Today's project, I'm going to be working on my jet boat. Uh, the last time I had this thing out was uh, last September, and the ignition module went out in the distributor, and I had to be towed back in. So I figured, you know, if I got to pull the distributor out, I might as well do the most logical thing, which is put a blower on it. To be serious though, I am actually putting a blower on it. There are a couple of concerns I have with this engine, because I built it to run naturally aspirated. So this is a 10 to 1 compression engine, and it still has a cast crank in it. So, because it's 10 to 1, unless I pull out pistons, I'm going to have to run low boost. So, I've done the calculations. If I keep it at around 4 pounds of boost, I should still be able to run 93 pump gas, and hopefully get away with it. But, I don't know if the crankshaft's going to hold up or not. So, I'm just going to keep it low boost for now. And then I think maybe over the winter time, I'll pull the motor out and uh, put a forged crank in it and put some lower compression pistons in it. At least these pistons are forged, so I'm not really worried about tearing them up. But I uh, figure I'll throw the blower on there now, maybe take it out and have a little bit of fun with it before I upgrade the crankshaft. You never know, it might actually run pretty good and hold up. Here's the blower I'm going to be using. This is a 671 GMC blower. This actually was originally on a diesel engine. Uh, I bought it, converted it over to gas, and I'm going to be running it on this big block. Um, you're probably wondering why the pulley is on backwards. Reason for that is, if I run that length snout on the blower, I can flip the pulley around and with a spacer I can run it either on a small block or a big block. So I was kind of thinking for the future, just in case this blower ever goes onto a small block, I won't have to keep buying a different link snout. And I actually kind of like the look of the pulley being backwards. I think it looks kind of cool. So I'm going to run it that way. Part of this project is going to be modifying these carburetors. These are Holly 750 vacuum secondary carburetors. You can make vacuum secondary carburetors work on a blower motor. It just has to be set up properly. Part of what I'm going to have to do with these is boost reference the power valves. Because underneath the carburetors on a blower motor, always has vacuum so if you don't boost reference your power valves they won't open and you'll have a major lean spot so I'll have to tear them all apart which is no big deal I gotta change out the power valves anyway uh, these power valves were set up for this naturally aspirated tunnel ram so I have to change those out anyway so that'll conclude this short video for you guys just showing you what's coming up so Next video, I'll be tearing this all apart, and we'll uh, get down into this. See you guys next time.